Hey YouTube, Smart Reviews here again. Um, basically what I want to talk to you about today is the differences in uh, in the wall chargers that come uh, in many you know different shapes and sizes. Um, the, these are both Apple chargers and the, the one on the right is a 5 watt charger. Usually comes in the box in, in almost all iPhone boxes. And then this one is a 12 watt charger that you have to buy separately or I, I believe the iPad Pro, it comes with it, uh, the 12.9 inch. Uh, but this is a 12 watt, and this is the you know standard 5 watt charger. As you can see on here, you know, just wanted to see if I can show you. Yeah, it's kind of hard to to get that zoom in, but it is a 12 watt charger. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and plug them in here, and uh, as you can see, none of them are connected to anything and this right here is going to tell us the amperage is you know the amps right here and if I you know move the switch down it's going to show me the voltage I really don't care about about the voltage just the amperage uh, and as you can see it is connected to an iPhone 7 uh, with 7% charge um, so just to, so just so that way you can see this is an iPhone 7 I'm going to put it off to the side right here as you can see a little bit of that screen but first I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the 5 watt charger and I'm going to show you the numbers so I went ahead and uh, plugged it into the 5 watt charger oh, there must be a little bit of uh, some incorrect readings there there we go um, so it is at 0.97 amps basically the max capacity of this wall charger um, and it's going to stay like that the whole time. So, um, I don't like using these chargers only when it's last resort. Uh, but um, what I do usually, uh, especially since the iPhone 7 does take a uh, you know full benefit of these bigger chargers, is I like using these chargers um, to get the max out of them. And as you can see on here, it is one point. It, it goes up to 1.8, 1.9, 1.7, but usually just averages around 1.6 amps. And it stays there up until it gets to a higher charge. And once it gets to a higher charge, of course, as you're finishing charging, the amperage is going to get a lot smaller. So um, my recommendation, not just any of the Apple chargers, but uh, any chargers that do support a 12, you know, 12 watt um you know the quick charge 2.0 and 3.0 are not gonna you know charge it a lot faster because it does not the iPhones don't have that technology so I would just stick with a you know 5 watt 2.4 amp chargers which you know or 2.2 whatever amp charge 2.1 amp chargers um, to get this this wattage of 12 watts which is uh, which is really good as you can see on here. It's not going to take advantage of the 2.4 amps that this thing can do, but it is going to do a lot better with 1. Point, you know, 1.6 and so on. Um, and it's going to charge your device a lot faster. So that is my recommendation, guys. Just, uh, you know, I would say the 12 watts, uh, you know, definitely going to benefit you on the iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 6S Plus, and, uh, of course, the iPhone 6 Plus and all of the iPads. All the iPads will definitely benefit with this charger. Um, so, yeah, uh, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to, uh, you know, shoot me a, uh, a question in the comments below. Um, and I'll be more than happy to answer them and, uh, you know, hope to make the next video.